All right, if you're looking to replace or buy new wireless headphones, this video is gonna be the video for you. Most likely because you're probably trying to decide if you wanna get either the Powerbeats Pro or the AirPods 2. Let me go ahead and just save you the time and just get the AirPods 2, forget the Powerbeats Pro. Like seriously. Whoa, huh? whoa, 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 whoa. Who what are you, what are you doing here? I was just suggesting to the viewer here that they get the AirPods 2 rather than getting the Powerbeats Pro. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yo, if you want the best wireless headphones in the game right now, what? Yo, get the Powerbeats Pro, I promise you. Don't listen to Excuse this one me? Of me, Steve Urkel right Steve here. Urkel? Yo, I don't like your tone right now. What, you, go, you, you mad? You I just don't something? appreciate how you're talking to me. You want fight? Of course not. <laughs> of course you will. I don't fight. I don't fight. You have AirPods, that's why. Okay, yo, what is that supposed to mean? You know exactly what that's supposed to mean. You know what? That's what's wrong Stop with you. Stop playing games, like man. Like Power Beats users. You get just so aggressive. Oh, I'm so big on your little meatloaf. Come <sighs> on, come on. Yo, that, you know, I don't even need to deal yeah, with your ignorance. Let's go. Bye. Okay, get out of here. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on cool tech and products that help improve your life. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So which new wireless headphones should you buy? Should you get the AirPods Generation 2 or the Powerbeats? Now, this has gotta be a very big one up for debate. These had just came out. These are my favorite headphones, but I also know a lot of people love themselves some AirPods, and I was a big lover too. And for all those really people who are really looking closely, yes, these are the AirPods 1. The AirPods 2, I did a review on them. I did have them, I did wear them. I gave them away in a giveaway because I just didn't think they were worth it to me, but I wanted to go ahead and show because they're basically the same thing as these. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of each one so at the end of the video you can decide which one really fits your taste the most. So we'll start off with the Power Beats. I love these headphones. If you didn't see my unboxing, these, oh, these are amazing headphones. Some of the pros that I really enjoy, of course, are the music quality. Like, oh my gosh, like the bass is great. The music, it's a full noise. It's not noise canceling, but it almost feels like it is. I can really, like when I'm in the gym or I'm on the train, I really feel like it's just me listening to the music or listening to a podcast. And I love it. It's, it's a 10. It's a solid 10. The second pro that I like is the wraparound feature um, of the headphones. This is something that I am a big fan of because of the fact that I know for sure that these will not fall out of my ears. No matter what happens, whether I'm taking off, like trying to take off a jacket or a shirt or move around, somebody brushes up against me or I'm working out, these will stay in my ear. I don't have to worry about it knocking off at all. And then the third pro that I really enjoy about these Powerbeats Pro, the third pro that I enjoyed about these Powerbeats Pro, it's a lot of pros. So the third pro that I really like about these set of headphones is the battery life. Now the battery life, um, I think on the website it says it has like nine hours of battery life. Um, from a personal perspective, I don't really count how many hours, I just kind of see how many times I wear it at work and then like during the day or my commute and then when I get home what it's like. So there was a time where I was listening to music for about like 30, like 20, 30 minutes, listen to a 40 minute podcast on a phone call and I looked at the battery of my headphones and they were literally at like 80%. Like I never have to be like, oh, I need to charge these. I can wear them, honestly, I can wear them all day at work and be completely fine. Now the cons for these guys are actually the case itself. This thing is huge compared to the the AirPods case. Like this can easily fit in my pocket. This on the other hand, like, I don't want a big bulge in the side of my pocket. I do wish the case was a lot smaller and I don't know about you guys, but I dropped this a couple times because I had to put it in a pocket of a, my, my gym bag or something and it fell out and I was like, Like, don't you hate that? Especially when it's something really nice and you like look around and make sure there's like no scratches on it, but it does have a scratch, it's like a little, Tiny, tiny one. When you get one of those scratches, you, that's the one thing you see all the time. Like I, I see it right now, like, ugh. Hmm. So that's the one thing. I just wish the case was a little bit smaller. I understand that since these do have the wraparounds that it is a little bit bigger, but it's still a con. And now for the AirPods generation two pros and cons. The first pro is that this thing is small. Like this thing is tiny. Like look, it looks like the size of the ear. Maybe not my ear, maybe like Will Smith's ear. <laughs> This thing is tiny, it's super, super, super small. I love how it's such a low profile, you can barely see it. I think the second pro that I like about it is it's cheaper than the Powerbeats Pro. The Powerbeats Pro right now are running around like $250, and on top of that, I think they're like on a huge back order. You can only buy the black pair. So it's like availability is very, very low. Now for the AirPods Generation 2, they're everywhere now. Like you could pick up AirPods at whatever 
uh, Apple Store you want to, or even on like Amazon if you want to. They're really accessible, and I think these are now 160 or 170, so a lot cheaper compared to the Power Beats Pro. And now for the cons, I think the biggest con for me is the sound quality. Whenever I found myself on the subway to listen to a podcast or listen to music, as soon as that subway started going, I couldn't hear it. I literally paused whatever it was that I had. I couldn't hear it at all. I could maybe hear a faint noise, but it was it was just useless. And that was the one thing I hated about it was that the, to me, the sound quality just really wasn't that good. Um, I didn't feel like, you know, everything was isolated when I used it. They were just decent when I was in the office and it wasn't too loud. Another con of this was actually the fact that I know they, they stay pretty tight in your ears, but honestly, these things can fall out. I know if you have long hair, sometimes the AirPods can get stuck in there and like if you're moving around your hair and it comes out or if you're being really, really aggressive, really active, you know, they can come out or if somebody bumps into you, one of my biggest fears is that it will drop into like the drain of, on the streets. So I wasn't a big fan of that. It's great that they're super small, but the fact that I don't have 100% confidence that they could say to my ear makes it a con for me. And I think the last con, and it's not like a crazy thing, I didn't have too much of an issue, but the battery life, you know, they only last for me about maybe like an hour, hour and a half, and then I would have to put them in the case. The good thing is, once you put them in the case, they charge pretty fast, but I did find myself consistently having to put my AirPods in the case compared to the Powerbeats Pro. So which of these two should you purchase? My first recommendation would be the Powerbeats Pro. Like, these headphones, you get the best of both worlds. You get the complete wirelessness from the AirPods, but then you also have the nice wraparound feature and the sound quality of the Powerbeats series. So that's why this, to me, is like my favorite piece of tech of 2019, like no joke. Um, it's awesome, the case, even though it's a little bit big, a lot of us now, we have bags, we have a backpack or something we can put it in, or if you want to force it in the pocket, you can. But this is awesome. Um, I would suggest maybe get the AirPods if you are on a budget, um, especially if you can find the AirPods, like first generation, get those. If you can maybe find them on eBay or Amazon, I'll put some links below if I can find some. And you also don't want to wait on the back order of the Power Beats, then go ahead and get yourself some AirPods. Um, I think these are definitely worth the wait 100%. And especially if you like to go to the gym, these are a no brainer. If you're somebody who does a little bit lighter activity, like maybe like jogging, walking, cycling here and there, these would be, these would suffice, they would be fine. Um, but yeah, that would be my recommendation of which one to buy. Which one are you leaning more towards, the AirPods Generation 2 or the Power Beats? Let me know in the comments below which team that you are, and I would love to hear like what the poll might be. And also let me know if you have any questions um, that I maybe didn't address. So again, I hope this video was extremely helpful. If you haven't already, compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you later. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo!